What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about how five minutes of exercise per day could save your life. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. FTA all day, baby. There was a new study that came out from the Biobank data set over in the UK and what they were looking at was people who accumulated small amounts of very intense physical activity throughout the day so in order for it to qualify, I believe it had to be at least one minute in duration of intense physical activity that wasn't exercise specific, meaning they weren't going into the gym specifically to do it. You know, you're chasing your dog or you're running with your kids or you're doing something like that. How many of these minutes did they need in order to see a significant risk reduction in cancer? What's really cool about this is they as a co-founder adjusted for physical activity already. So they were controlling for that and looking at if you do really short bouts of exercise, does it actually make a difference? And what they found was the minimum dosage for reducing the risk of cancer was about 3.4 minutes of very intense physical activity. And at 4.5 minutes of very intense physical activity, they saw a 20% reduction in the risk of cancer incidence and a 30% reduction in the risk of physical activity related cancers. Because we do know there are some cancers that tend to be more sensitive to physical activity. We're talking about less than five minutes. And once you got up around 10 total accumulated minutes of very intense physical activity, it was almost like a 50% risk reduction. That is huge. And one of the things I think the fitness industry does a really crappy job at is making people feel like the barrier to entry for getting healthy and being at lower risk of disease is really high. Well, I've got to eat fresh caught organic salmon and raw vegetables and I have to get specialized water to drink and I have to work out two times a day and meditate for an hour. No, no. What you need to do is just do something. A 30% reduction in risk or a 50% reduction in risk from 10 minutes a day. I know some of you are very, very busy. I promise you, you can find five to 10 minutes in a day. And the cool thing was it did not have to be continuous. In fact, most of these sessions were around one minute. Just having times during the day where you go hard for one minute and do that multiple times a day. If you do that four times in a day, you're looking at a 20 to 30% reduction in your risk of developing cancer. You can find four or five minutes. You wanna watch Netflix? Cool, do push-ups while you watch a minute of Netflix. There are so many ways you can do this. You see a hill? Run up the dang thing. And again, it just shows that the barrier to improved health when it comes to nutrition, exercise, is not high. In fact, it's ridiculously low. But what it requires is consistent execution on a daily basis. And most people will do something for a few days, a few weeks, and then stop. If you can just do five minutes per day, you can significantly reduce your risk of cancer. Who doesn't want that? All right, guys, if you like the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my research breakdowns, make sure you check out my research review reps. Every month, we review five studies that are popular in fitness and nutrition and break them down in a way that's palatable and so easy to understand, where we give you practical takeaways from the data and tell you what it means for you, and we tell you if we agree with the data based on the researchers' conclusions and based on their own data, not based on clickbait headlines. All right, guys, have a great week.